Fans here in the building, nice job on the outside zone. Masiyama grips up, kind of dove in, still he's using all the court. Comes in hot, looking for Masiyama, big angle for him. Adam just shoots, he found the ghost in the machine. It seems like he's dialed in now. We just like to say that he dropped. LZ AutoZone RTR Spec 5D on Ditto Tires going versus Masayama in that Buy Now Japan Sylvia S15. Adam LZ, little handbrake pull there. Masayama tucks in. Adam LZ doesn't get all the way out there, but definitely looks good. Again, a little shallow on that outside zone two into outside zone three. Consistently about the same distance off of all the outside zones. Let's see if we can dial it here on this inside clip. A little bit of scrub allowed Masayama to gain. Good run there from LZ, but Masayama, he could have been closer. So right now, I think Adam LZ, he's feeling more comfortable in this, in this Ford Mustang. He's had a lot of experience behind the wheel of it. You know, starting off at St. Louis Auto Show, and now here he is. He's going to apply the pressure to buy now Japan F-15. Masayama gets all the way out there. Adam LZ, early transition to the outside zone Whoa. two. Trains out LZ. Saves it. Saves it from the wall, but with that mistake, Masayama Ooh. and LZ, unfortunately, you saw that, er that so, Masayama continues, looks like he will get Riley Auto Parts, Permatex, BMW. He's got a 2JZ under the hood. He's got new tires. He teamed up with Falcon Tires for the year. And Masayama, that buy now Japan, Sylvie S15, comes now into view of the fans here in the building. Nice job on the outside zone. Masayama grips up, kind of dove in. Dylan Hughes using all the course. Hanging out on the outside zone two. Phil's outside zone three. Masayama, a little shallow, needs to gain proximity. And there he does around that final clip. Really well done in the latter portion of the story. But you know, early on, on two on one or two, and his transition was a little bit off. It was a little shaky looking. There was some bobbles. Yeah, and if you're Masayama, you need to throw it down. You got Dylan Hughes in your rear view mirror. Oh, look at that. Right there, just mimic each other on that initiation. Masayama almost gets all the way out there. And now look at that nasty transition by Masayama. Dylan Hughes, this is what you're talking about. Right there. Is this enough? Now it comes into that final inside clip. Masayama. Again. Sequence that is go time. Chase car can lead prior to the lights extinguishing. Through the start chicane, coming down the hill, and initiating. Point of no return to that first front clip. Masayama, very aggressive on initiation, ended up biting him, and we've seen that a couple times. If you get too aggressive, you're gonna have to back off, otherwise you're gonna go on this side. Justin Pollock puts it right inside that second outside zone. Masayama transitions to Awato. Nice job by him. As Masayama, by now Japan, Sylvia Esther. So here's the second half of the Pollock Masayama battle. And let's see who comes out on top. Like you said, we had that contact, but Masayama was at fault. So uh, Pollock, not, not, a, not, a ma not a major advantage here, just, uh, just that contact. So Masayama, by now Japan, Sylvia. Oh, look at Justin. Just absolutely seethering right now. Ready to get his claws into Masayama. Well done as he exits out of the horseshoe. Masayama with a great lead run, but just uh, just given that he had a good lead. Here we go. We'd love to not have to do the sight laps. Just turn and burn, baby. Masayama, find out Japan. In the front. Dan Burkett sticks the nose that hardcore Supra to the side of Masayama. You can see it both just kind of click, 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 torquing it up. Now in that first inside clip, Dan a little bit off further than Masayama. Now in the second inside clip, Dan making a quick little adjustment there. Still does hit that second clip. Not a lot of angle here for Masayama. And now, look at that, allowing Dan Burkett. Oh, look at that, smooching, smooching tire tread. Who's gonna come out on top? Who's going against Christoph Force Forsberg in the 16? We are in the Rockstar Energy Drink Top 32. Brad Dan. Initiates, look at that. Smoke. Oh, I'm seeing some smoke, seeing some steam. Oh, look at that, fax it in. And Masayama, now he's playing catch up. Big angle there for Briquette. And we talked about how he's gotten his car dialed. Look at that massive angle from Dan Briquette. A little bit off of that outside line. I'd like to see him out there, but I think he was, he was a little nervous. He didn't want to go. And uh, we're going to go ahead and, uh, or 
we, we all pick our own uh, winners or one more time. And let me go ahead and look at this. Yep, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. Eve Meyer, Watoro Masayama into that first outside zone. And now transitioning into that second outside zone. You can see Eve Meyer looking like they are putting the car in the right place. This is, I mean, really good job mimicking by Masayama now into that final outside zone. Ooh, Eve Meyer comes up a bit short. Masayama. Let's see what we got. Masayama. Ooh, flirting with those cones there. But again, if he hit it, it'd just be a strike. No big deal for him. Masayama with a gangster initiation. Wow, right in front of Eve Meyer. You saw that. Masayama. Look at this. And this is the this is the Masayama we know that's existed. He talked about Chelsea Nope and his breakup moment. What is Masayama's breakup moment? Could it be right now? Oh, he gets barely gets it. Eve Meyer just a bit short. But a really good distinguish. Masayama will lead. Love will give chase. Love's always chasing the down. Love will find a way. Love will find a way. Masayama into that first outside zone, going to that second outside zone. Josh Love comes out of the smoke. And heroes don't look back. Look at that. Into that third outside zone. Masayama just seems like a different driver here this weekend. Remember, he did call his competition timeout during qualifying. Oh, Remember right. that? So good memory, the, Jared. Uh, yeah, Formula the Drift. And here we go. Now, Josh Love out front. Jasper Keys after hours auto sports. BMW taking out that. BC Racing clip into that second outside zone. A lot deeper now, getting that fresh air out front. Again, paint this car black. Gonna paint it black into that last outside zone. What do you got? Masayama getting aggressive, but just kind of a straight line to the side of the car. Didn't drop in and get into formation. Again, he went to the danger. Masayama will lead. Dean Carnage Carney giving chase. Watoro Masayama, the Buy Now Japan S15. Into that first outside zone, the Hyper NFT dot IO, Dodge Viper. Ooh. Into that second outside zone. It seems like the Chase drivers are just gripping up and catching some, just the wrong line, unfortunately, in that Chase position. Every lead run, we've seen the Chase driver just grip up. Yeah, that transition ends up being a little too early and the momentum dies Create down. A and fire in the cockpit of that Dodge Viper. HyperNFT.io, we got a clean start. Here comes that Dodge Viper of Dean Carter's Garney. Into that first outside zone. Want to see a different angle from that. Didn't see exactly if he was within that outside zone. He does drag that back left. Now into the third outside zone. Really locking that in. Now Masayama not too far behind him. And Masayama did a good job mimicking his line. Got here from Masayama and LZ. All right, leaving that start chicane. Let's see if the fade comes in hot. Watoro Masayama, big angle from him. Adam LZ needs to close that gap. He does have the angle, not the proximity. Now into that second, oh, very shallow and outside zone two in the power alley by LZ. Now into that inside clip. Big angle there from Masayama. He does exceed it, drops that tire off course. LZ. Definitely throws it down the latter portion of the last track. That LZ wasn't tight to Masayama on that last outside zone. That could have been a little, a little more violent. A lot of Here we go. Adam LZ now got the clean air. The auto zone Mustang RTR Spec 5 initiates. Good initiation there. And look at Masayama. He talked about that proximity. He does close it, but not all the way. It takes a very shallow low line on the bank. Into the outside zone too, Masayama just buried in the smoke. Adam LZ takes a wide line around that inside clip. Watch him transition here, Masayama. Wow, good composure there by Masayama. Oh, talk about hitting that wall. You talk about it and LZ does it. Comes into this round third overall. He needs to continue his success here in Seattle. Watoro Masayama, by now Japan S15, initiates. Big angle from him, that Rain-X Toyota GR Corolla. Trying to get to the side of that S15. Look how fast Masayama is. See how he handles the transition here. It's that second outside zone. Ryan Turk gets into that third. Masayama now past that inside clip. Masayama now into that last outside zone. Ooh, Ryan Turk gets in the outside zone. The quickly next gets... Toyota GR Corolla of Ryan Turk on Nitto Tires. The rock star pilot against the Japanese driver, Watoro Masayama. 
Ryan Turk and the hot hatchback initiates big angle for him. Masayama saw a little step entry there in that chase position. Now it looks like he found the sweet spot. And Ryan Turk now coming, dropping in. And Masayama taking, oh, an interesting line now into that third outside zone. Masayama into formation. He's got good proximity. Great proximity and then into that final outside zone. Masayama, the buy now Japan, Sylvia S15. Let's see what we got. There we go, Masayama. Initiates right in front of the nose of that Toyota GR Corolla. Masayama, big angle from him. Ryan Turk lunging forward. Masayama holds rock steady. Oh man, both, oh man, exploding. That candle, that cone. He saw the door open and quickly close there on Ryan Turk now. Coming to that final outside zone. Factor, you want to put it down. Chase car needs to utilize that lead car as a moving clipping point. What's Ryan Turk going to do here? He hit that cone. How's he going to put it down here with Watura Masayama chasing down the Rainex Toyota GR Corolla? Ryan Turk, the rock star driver on the bank. Masayama, great proximity. Ryan Turk high on the bank comes into that second outside zone into the third outside zone. Masayama tucks in, finds that proximity. And now one more outside zone here between Turk and Masayama. Masayama, the Drift Cave operates that Buy Now Japan S15. Nick Novak, Cora Works, Tyler, and, uh, and Greg and Lauren, they're all watching back uh, either here in the booth or up in Atlanta or down in Atlanta. Here we go, Nick Novak initiating that Cora Works BMW. And that first outside zone transition, the second outside zone, Masayama. Mimicking the angle, needs more proximity, and you ask if you shall receive. Masayama brings it a little tight here. Big angle there from Novak. Massive angle from Novak. You saw him kind of come out of that outside zone, but Give still chase. Remember, we have a halftime break, and then we're back at it like a track addict. And we'll be back here for our live stream. And here, obviously, the inaugural round. That is the Type S Elevator, presented by AutoZone. Nasty initiation by that Buy Now Japan S15 and Nick Novak. Swings wide. Want to see if uh, he just mismarked it or was there something that went wrong in the lead position? Nick Novak trying to power back into that final outside zone. Masayama into that final outside zone. Nick Novak straightening and bringing on home. Let's see what we got. Our Link ECU grade eight who's coming in to join up, Jonathan Hurst. Coming out swinging, I believe this is his first great eight in FD. Initiates big, aggressive initiation. Pass that inside clip, goes into that first outside zone. Transition to the second outside zone. Watura Masayama, looks like Jonathan Hurst, big angle. Pass that second inside clip. Well done by Jonathan Hurst. Now to that final outside zone. Fills all that Masayama, you can see him finding it. Man, great job by both the drivers. You see Masayama exceeding just a little bit. Shy. And here we go. Masayama out front, as you said, analyzing that. Love this eye in the sky. I think it's great to see. Look at that 101.4. Big, massive entry there from Masayama. Can Hurst hang tough? And no, he does not. He spins out and he rotates. Masayama continues on through the course. Into that second clip. Look at Masayama. Absolutely on pace. You think he likes his track? Duh. Yeah. This is Masayama land right now. Well done. 101 mile per hour, very fluid. And I, I would say that this kind of has a Masayama qualified 19th compared to Masayama qualified 22nd. That boost race fuel, Norwegian driver. We're gonna have two Norwegians in the finals, or we're gonna have two Japanese drivers. Here we go. Simon Olsen initiates. Waturo Masayama right there on the door of that all new Toyota Supra transition into that second outside zone. A little bit of check up there. Masayama keeps composure. And now coming into that final outside zone. Masayama to find out Japan. S15 into that last outside zone. Simon Olsen does not get all the way out there. Masayama falls and tracks him down. Mother Nature is just shining bright like a diamond in the face. Again, blinded by the light. Here we go, Masayama out front. Simon Olsen, give a chase, initiating. You see that big angle, a little bit of handbrake there coming in, massaging it into that inside clip, into the first outside zone. Simon Olsen falls back. Now 
How is Masayama going to handle this inside clip? Could have been a little closer. Simon Olsen tightened it up. Now coming at the last outside zone. Masayama all the way out there. Look at that right on that razor's head. Maybe, maybe picked up a But Earl Masayama, number two qualifier. He's going to finish top ten, ideally. He's going against a former champ, Michael Essa, who qualified 31st. That's right, the former champ. He was having some boost issues. He found the ghost in the machine. It seems like he's dialed in now. Ooh, just as I say that, he drops down. Masayama, number two qualifier, on pace. That buy now Japan vehicle putting it down. Yes, sir. Yo, the land of the rising sun. Buy now Japan. Sil Sylvia is delivering. How crucial just how it was going down, and Lorette Nickel got the insight and the communique. He was on his laptop trying to find it. Looks like he uh, he found it, but uh, let's see what we got here from Essa out front. Essa initiates. Rock solid. Like a rock. Look at that. Big angle there from Essa and Waturo Masayama. Now he falls on the uh, on, down the bank in that second outside zone. Nice job by Essa. Getting intimate with the wall. Big angle from Essa. And now puts a stamp on it.